Welcome to our kitchen. <laughs> We're really excited to have you here today. Um, we are having communion this Sunday, tomorrow, um, as we gather together in community. So we wanted to invite you into our home because we are going to make bread to um, share at our table um, for communion. So uh, we wanted to show you a little bit about how we do that. This is not the bread that we typically have for um, Sunday morning service. We have wonderful people that volunteer to bake bread for our gluten-free uh, communion. Uh, we will be making gluten-free bread, um, but this is not the same recipe. We tried to find something that was easier, uh, less ingredients. Um, I believe this is something that will translate well to regular flour. Um, so we know that things are a little hard to find right now. So we wanted to be sure and use things that um, you might either just have laying around your house. Um, that's the goal here. So. Um, so let's start with the dry ingredients first. First of all, we have just one and three quarter cups of flour. We have a teaspoon of baking soda. Um, if you don't have, or not, I'm sorry, not baking soda, baking powder. If you don't have baking powder, there are ways to use baking soda and fake it. Um, so we're gonna throw that on in. And we have a tablespoon of sugar. So this tablespoon of sugar, of course, we also have wet ingredients we have to do, which um, is starting with three quarters of a cup of water. I have uh, was a tablespoon and a half of honey. I'm gonna warm this up in the microwave just to get it a little bit looser because it makes it easier to mix. And we also have a tablespoon of butter, which as you can see right now is not melted, but we need to do that as well. So we'll do that in the microwave. So while uh, he's doing that and mixing those things together, um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about communion. Um, communion is something that is, has always been very special to me. Um, ever since I was a little girl, that uh, is one of those things that I just really connected with at church. Um, Butter? The, the place that we can come together and... Um, gather around a table um, is a beautiful, beautiful moment. Now, communion started with Jesus and his disciples gathering around a table the night before Jesus um, was crucified. And Jesus took the bread and said, remember me. And he took the wine and he said, this cup is about forgiveness use it to remember me and he shared it with everybody that was in the room even G even judas um so it's a it's a very it's a very special thing to do and it's especially hard in times when we can't come together we can't come to church right now um but we can still gather around the table um, <clears throat> when we get to celebrate Easter um, scripture tells us that the disciples were again hiding um, because they were afraid and Jesus showed up inside their locked room and said do not be afraid peace be with you um, so that's um, part of why we are doing this together, um, to share, uh, to gather with those who are in our house with us. Um, Jesus promises to show up with us in our homes through bread, through wine, um, at our tables, to offer love and forgiveness and peace. So this, as you see, the dough's kind of flaky and everything. Um, so you probably have to get in um, and start forming it yourself. 
getting it into this useful um, bit of a blob. Um, if it gets too sticky on your hands, you can use a little bit of oil and uh, we use olive oil. Again, it doesn't matter, any vegetable type oil will work. Um, so I have one of these bakers. You'll want to take, whether it's a pan um, or baker, whatever it is you're using, look it up. Michael's calling, I'll be right back. Go ahead. A little bit of oil in it, wipe it down, uh, make sure that you get it all nice and coated. Come back to your ball here. We're going to want half of this in the baker, so get about half. Okay, we're going to place it in the baker and spread it out. Okay, as you see, we've now got it all spread out. There is a nice coating of olive oil in our case on it, or whatever oil you have. Um, a nice, good, sharp knife. You can just drag right through twice, makes a nice little cross, and it's ready for the oven. And then we stick it in the oven. 12 to 15 minutes until it gets nice and golden on top at 450. So we want to be sure um, to say that this is not about giving you more work. Isn't that beautiful? Um, this is not about sending you out to the store. Um, if you are bored and you are looking for something to do and you have all of these things in your house, uh, we would love for you to make some bread. We're gonna put um, some recipes in the comments of this uh, post so for you to see and choose which um, version you would like. This is just one of the versions that we found online um, in the last couple of days doing some research for this. Um, but please, this is, this is not an opportunity to make you feel bad. Um, God shows up in ordinary things. So bake if you wish, um, but use what you have and uh, know that God comes and joins us at our tables um, with whatever it, we have, whether it's crackers or um, pitas. pitas or some, you know, one, loaf of bread wonder have. bread is what we had growing up. Yeah. Um, whatever it is you have laying around, um, God promises to come to our tables and show up um, in the midst of us. So thank you for spending some time with us in our kitchen this morning. Um, come see our loaf tomorrow. We're, we're going to use that for communion later, and um, we're excited to gather around our table with you, even from far away. Um, so blessings to you. Please let us know how we can support you during this time. Um, your church is doing its best to reach out and connect, especially with those um, who may be struggling right now. So please let us know and know that you are in our prayers. And please, if you make a loaf, post a couple pictures of it on the comments as well. That'd be great. We'd love to see what everybody's been up to. Hope you have a good day. God's blessings to you and your family.